Hey, this is Kenny. Welcome to Fobology. The topic of this video is Seconds Matter. This is a term I use a lot in squad, usually at the beginning of the match when I roll up in my Lodgy at the mid cap and I expect to be in a gunfight right away. So I'm going to go over some quick tips and tricks that I use when I roll up to these hairy situations. Let's take Korra Ross V1 for example, where I'm pushing out to the north lane at the beginning of the match towards the poppy farm and vineyard caps. On Korra, there are two areas that are extremely typical for both teams to rush and have an early game gunfight, and that is on Market, in the mid lane, and on the north lane between Poppy Farm, Vineyard, and Upper Orchard. In this example, we're focusing on the north lane between Vineyard, Poppy, and Upper Orchard because that's the lane I typically prefer to play. Korra is a smaller, narrow map, so typically I try to maximize my radio radii, so I would typically stop my Lodgy somewhere here and drop my radio and walk my Hav up to Vineyard or Poppy. During the staging phase, I would split my squad up into Bravo and Charlie fire teams and keep one guy in Alpha who's going to be assigned to stay with me to shovel the Hav up. Then I would line my guys out with instructions to follow these green arrows. I would say something like, Bravo, you're going to follow the north arrows, Charlie, you're going to follow the south arrows, and you're going to push out immediately as soon as we dismount from the Lodgy. Then, if I notice I've got a few new guys in my squad that I haven't played with before, I'll be even more specific and I'll say something like, Everybody other than the guy I have assigned to shovel with is going to push out following their fire team marks. You're not going to drop supplies, you're not going to shovel the hab, you are guns hot, pushing the enemy immediately. Your job is to fight. While the fire teams are pushing out on their marks, I'll go place the hab somewhere like here on Vineyard and have the one guy that's with me start shoveling. The logic behind this strat is a few things. First, it's pushing the enemy fob. Second, it's creating distance between the gunfight and our hab. And third, it's gaining ground on the map. You'd be surprised how often I do this that my fire teams roll right into Upper Orchard and just fuck up an entire enemy squad and their fob. What usually happens in that scenario is they're just fiddle fucking around basically. They take too long to set their radio, too long to set their hab, and then they have seven or eight guys sitting around fiddle fucking around with their shovels. In short, they aren't ready for a gunfight, and we are. If we're unable to wipe the enemy in that first push, we're likely to create a line somewhere like this a few hundred meters away from our hab, allowing us space to spawn in and push out to the fight. Then the goal from here would be to just keep pushing the line west to create enough space for me to move my lodge up and build another fob right behind the push. Your best opportunities to gain ground on the map are usually right at the beginning of the match. So it's important to push these mid-caps right away and be ready for a gunfight. And a big part about being successful in these early game gunfights in the mid-caps is not wasting time. So plan where you want to go. Plan where you're going to stop your Lodgy and dismount, set your radio, and where you're going to set your hab. Assign the guys that are going to shovel and the guys that are going to fight. Because seconds matter in these situations, and the way I best manage these critical moments in the early game is I be prepared. And I go over the game plan with all my guys so they know what they're going to do. Alright, that's all I wanted to cover in this short video, so thanks for watching guys.